हे रोहित कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी योर नोटबुक या शो हेर इट इज वेट अट सेल ऑर्गेनल गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एनी डाउट इन लास्ट क्लास ग्रेट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सेल ऑर्गेनल्स वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल ऑर्गेनल्स टूडे लेट स्टार्ट विथ इट फर्स्ट वी विल नो वॉट इज सेल ऑर्गेनल वेल स्टूडेंट सेल ऑर्गेनल इज द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द सेल दैट परफॉर्म डिफरेंट फंक्शंस it means every cell has a membrane around it to keep its content separate from the external environment and these components are called cell organelles can anyone tell me examples of cell organelles i can ma'am endoplasmic reticulum and vacuoles both are example of cell organelles right shikha Some important cell organelles are endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids, and vacuoles. Now we are going to learn about each organelles one by one in details. First one is endoplasmic reticulum. It is denoted by ER. Endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane-bound tubes and sheets filled with fluid. It looks like long tubules or round or oblong bags. They carry materials throughout the cell, therefore known as the transport system of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum which is denoted by RER and smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is denoted by SER rough endoplasmic reticulum has particles called ribosomes attached to its surface the ribosomes are the sites of protein manufacture The smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the manufacture of fat molecules or lipids important for cell function. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. This process is known as membrane biogenesis. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a crucial role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs. Ma'am, what is the function of endoplasmic reticulum? Good question, student. Endoplasmic reticulum functions as a manufacturing and packaging system. The endoplasmic reticulum also functions as a cytoplasmic framework, providing a surface for some of the biochemical activities of the cell. Second organelle is Golgi apparatus. It is first described by Camillo Golgi. Consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles arranged approximately parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. The material synthesized near the endoplasmic reticulum is packed and dispatched to various targets inside and outside the cell. through the golgi apparatus functions of golgi apparatus golgi apparatus helps in storage modification and packages of product in vesicles in some cases complex sugar may be made from simple sugar in the golgi apparatus it is also involved in the formation of lysosomes Now we will study about lysosomes. Lysosomes are a kind of waste dispatch and disposal system of the cell. They help to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material 
as well as worn out cell organelles. Anand and Shrika, what is going on there? Nothing, ma'am. We are discussing about enzymes present in lysosomes. Great, Anand. As Anand said, lysosomes contain powerful digestive enzymes capable of breaking down all organic material. Under abnormal condition, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzymes digest their own food. Therefore, they are also known as suicide bags. Next, we are going to study about mitochondria. Mitochondria known as powerhouse of the cell. They store energy in the form of ATP molecules. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, known as energy currency of the cell. They have two membrane coverings instead of just one. The outer membrane is very porous, while the inner membrane is deeply folded. They have their own DNA and ribosomes. Therefore, mitochondria are able to make some of their own protein. Another cell organelle present only in plants is plastids. They are double membrane bound organelles. The internal organization of the plastids consists of numerous membrane layers embedded in a material called a stroma. They are similar to mitochondria in external structure. They also have their own DNA and ribosomes. Ma'am, chromoplast and leucoplasts are also plastids. Yes, Rohit. Both come under types of plastids. There are two types of plastids. They are chromoplast and leucoplast. Chromoplast are the colored plastids present in leaves, flowers and fruits. Plastids containing the pigment chlorophyll are known as chloroplast. They are important for photosynthesis in plants. Chloroplast also contain various yellow or orange pigments in addition to chlorophyll. Leucoplasts are found primarily in organelles in which materials such as starch, oils and protein granules are stored. Wow! These cell organelles are quite interesting. Yup! Due to these organelles, our body will able to perform functions. Well, you all know difference between plant and animal cell. Can anyone tell me what is vacuoles? Can I ma'am? Sure, tell me. Vacuoles are storage for solid, liquid and different types of materials. Very good Rohit. Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. They are small sized in animal cells, while plant cells have very large vacuoles, 50% to 90% cell volume. In plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. That's all from this chapter. Any doubts? Anyone? What is endocytosis? The process through which an amoeba acquires its food from the external environment is called endocytosis. What will happen to a cell if its nucleus is removed? With the passage of time, the cell will die as the nucleus which controls and coordinate all the function of the cell is absent. So students, that's all for today's class. Thank you.